Today marks 158 years since the Sand Creek Massacre here in Colorado. Back on November 29, 1864, U.S. soldiers killed hundreds of indigenous people in our state. And over the course of eight hours, around 230 Cheyenne and Arapaho people were killed. And today there's a new exhibit open at History Colorado honoring those killed and remembering that day. Denver 7's Micah Smith takes us there. On an open, windy plain. It's a sad place. A dark history is buried in the soil. We top that hill, so there's the killing grounds. This is the site of the Sand Creek Massacre near Eads, Colorado. The deadliest day in Colorado history, November 29, 1864, when more than 230 Cheyenne and Arapaho, mostly women, children, and elders, were massacred by the United States Army. History Colorado historian Sam Bach developed the museum's new Sand Creek Massacre exhibit. Bach says while many Coloradans won't make it out to Eads, they can come here to explore this undertold history. Well, the Sand Creek Massacre's history has been intentionally ignored and buried for hundreds of years. The settlers of Denver, the early people living here, the climate of anti-native sentiment was very real and it was intentionally created by people who wanted to lay claim to the cold fields of Colorado and remove the native peoples from their homelands. The exhibit is History Colorado's second attempt at telling the Sand Creek story. The first was in 2012 when the museum first opened. But that exhibit was not done in deep consultation with the tribal representatives. Eventually that exhibit closed and over the last 10 years really, I mean, we've really been working closely with the tribal representatives to ensure that this story is told, not just in the way that they want it told, but it tells the histories that have been handed down within the tribes. Bach says the exhibit also celebrates the tribes that were victims of the massacre. Because that day does not define Cheyenne and Arapaho people. Visitors will learn a lot about what life was like for Cheyenne and Arapaho people before the massacre and also what their lives are like today. Box says more than anything, the exhibit is an honest look. It's part of history. It's part of Colorado history. At the human cost of Colorado's journey to statehood. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.